Hello and welcome to Fertile Minds. My name is Dr. Michael Flynn and I'm a fertility specialist with Queensland Fertility Group uh, and I'm situated on the Gold Coast. If I was sitting at my desk and talking to uh, women, couples with fertility problems, the first thing I like to describe, and I know this is really um, small, is what's the basic anatomy of a uterus? And it's pretty simple from that end is the cervix and that's how sperm comes in. So fibroids is just a muscle overgrowth. Remember, the uterus is made up of muscle. When there's a muscle overgrowth, it becomes a fibroid. But it depends where that fibroid is as to whether it causes any problems. So we can see a few things. I'm looking around and my easiest one to describe is our uterus, remembering what our uterus looked like, which was a normal pair. And at the top of this uterus, there's a muscle overgrowth on a stalk. But we can see that it's nowhere near all what I've just described as to how to get pregnant. Because all the problems with getting pregnant was just inside here. So if we have a great big fibroid on the outside, which some people do, I'm going to say to you, it has no effect on fertility whatsoever, and there's probably no reason to do anything about that fibroid. But this is different to if I show a fibroid that's taking up most of the inside of the cavity. So remember when we talked and we said embryo comes down and it wants to implant in the cavity, but how can it do that if all the space is taken up by a fibroid? So you can see that that fibroid there causes both infertility, it often causes miscarriage, and it causes heavy periods. And just for completeness, if we have a look and there's a fibroid that's purely just in the muscle and nowhere else, again, it has no effect on fertility. So when women have fibroids, our questions are, what symptoms are they giving? What do we want out of the treatment of fibroids? And we don't just treat them just because they're there. What are the symptoms? What are we talking about? Well, it's mostly what we talked about there. In the cavity, heavy painful periods. Therefore, the simple easy treatment for in the cavity fibroids usually is you have a look inside the uterus with something called a hysteroscope and you're often able to resect them. It's sort of like um, a little loop and we just take little bits of the fibroid out at a time and are able to resect and remove the fibroid from the cavity. So a hysteroscopic, hysteroscope, resection of the fibroid is a simple treatment for both heavy periods and fertility options. What causes fibroids? It's a common question because lots of women have fibroids. And the simple answer is there's, there's nothing you've done. There's nothing we could have done. Again, it's a little bit like freckles. It was in your genetic makeup. It was going to occur. It just happens with age. If we weren't looking at getting pregnant, fibroids often increase in size because they, for want of a better word, are fed by estrogen. So over the years, the more estrogen they have, the more they get bigger. But the corollary, the, the opposite side of that, is that once we get to menopause, once we get to change of life, where there's no more estrogen, oftentimes fibroids shrink. So again, as long as it's not causing a symptom, there's no reason to absolutely treat. Who is at risk of getting fibroids? I'm sounding boring now, almost everyone. There's, there's no predisposition. It's there, it just happens. So the absolute major uh, way of diagnosing is ultrasound. And I'm suspecting 
mostly done uh, in gynecologist's office. Today there's some really super uh, x-ray and ultrasound places where you can more define the fibroids as well. There's an ability to put fluid inside the um, cavity of the uterus and you can absolutely define how much fibroid is in the cavity. Sometimes MRI is used as well to see where it is and to see how to treat it. But the main diagnosis of fibroids is ultrasound and you can get a pretty good answer straight away. So I hope that's given a little bit of insight into what's probably gynecologist bread and butter our day and day. Thank you for watching. Be sure to keep up to date on all things fertility. Thank you.